Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will see a complete review about this uh, ergonomic chair. And uh, so without wasting any time, let's go into the video. If you are new subscriber to my channel, so my name is uh, Rehan and I do a lot of gadget review videos, 360 videos, uh, tutorial videos, educational videos, cooking videos uh, and a lot of travel vlogs as well. So if you are interested in any one of these topics, stay subscribed for more videos. Uh, in this video, we will see uh, you know the complete review about this ergonomic chair, its pros, cons, uh, how to assemble this chair, unboxing and whether you need to buy it or not and how to buy it buy it at a very low price uh, all these things which i'll be telling you in this video okay so first we will look at the unboxing and how to assemble the chair okay guys let's unbox it the parts came in a disassembled way which we will assemble in a moment the parts came in a neatly packed fashion as you guys can see even though it is white color i don't see any dirt so far and they have given the manual in the back seat pretty good this is the base of the chair which is really heavy and this is the leg of the chair where we will attach the wheels and this is the mechanism okay what else we got we have the wheels and also the rod that connects the chair with the base okay let's keep the box aside and start assembling as you guys can see they have given a jockey to assemble and also the along with the wheels it came like this for me it might be different for you guys and also they have provided the manual so if in case if you guys miss the manual you guys can refer this by passing the video and take a screenshot if you need the assembly is looking very simple as per i understand and it also this is also my first chair assembly so hopefully i can able to do it on my own so let's see about it okay so first as per the manual we have to attach the wheels into the leg okay so let's remove all the wheels and attach it into the leg There is no screws to attach the wheels into the leg so just need to push the wheels into the hole with pressure and it will get automatically locked into it as you guys can see the second step is also very easy guys you just need to insert it and give it a push that's it it will also get locked automatically and the next step is we have to remove the screws to attach the handrest into the base. Removing the screws is very easy, they have already provided a jockey, so make sure you guys use this instead of your own screwdriver. Okay, now let's attach our first hand rest. And it is also very simple guys, you just have to align the screw 
holds properly and you just have to put back the screws which you removed This mechanism is very heavy guys so make sure you get another hand to fix it. Uh, I tried to fix it on my own uh, with some uh, balancing in my knees but you know I would recommend you guys to get uh, someone help to do this uh, so that you don't break the mesh or any mechanism. Okay now we have fixed the mechanism let me tight all the screws. <laughs> Okay, you need to attach this uh, backrest directly into the mechanism. So first you need to remove the screws from the backrest using the jockey. It's very easy as well. So you just need to remove these three screws uh, and then you can directly attach it to the mechanism like this. And here also it's better to uh, get someone's help. But I did it on my own but I still I would recommend you guys to do it with someone help so that you don't break mechanism or the mesh. Okay now the chat part is ready you just need to carry it and put it on the cylinder and the chair will get fixed on its own using the mechanism now you guys can see it got fit very properly and let me set on it bismillah wow the mechanism really works good it didn't work like a magic guys Okay, now for the final part, we are going to fix the headrest. Attaching headrest also, it's very simple guys, you just have to remove the screws. And attach the headrest and then put the screws back. That's it guys. Wow guys, in my lifetime I have assembled my first chair and I am feeling very much satisfied as you guys can see from my face. The satisfaction feeling of assembling it perfectly. As you guys see from my face, the first impression of sitting into this chair was really comfortable guys after a heavy work of assembling the chair. Okay, I hope you guys like the assembly of the chair and if you guys have any doubt, let me know in the comments below and I would advise you guys to, you know, like uh, assemble the chair with the help of at least one person from your family or your friends uh, because, uh, you know, this mechanism was really heavy and I was, you know, like uh, um, feeling I had a very bad time, you know, assemb assembling that. Uh, since I'm, um, I do a little bit of gym, I could able to manage it but if you guys are like, you know, uh, 
uh, feel it's heavy i would always tell you guys to you know like uh, get a help from your family members to assemble it and the assembly of a chair uh, you know like uh, based on the video rec which i recorded uh, you know like it took roughly around like 37 minutes uh, from you know i never assembled any chair in my life so this is the first chair which i have assembled so it took around you know roughly around like 37 minutes to assemble this chair so it may take uh, you know like a very soon or very late depending upon how well you understand so if you watch this tutorial uh, clearly you guys can you know assemble it even more faster so and if you guys have any doubt or if you guys you know missed out any screw or anything like that and just contact the vendor back uh, so i have given the vendors link in the in the link in the description below so those vendors are actually like they will also help you fix your chairs in case if there is any damage or parts got missed out during the transit okay now i will say what are the pros of this chair so uh, one of the main pros of this chair is i know this is the mesh chair it's a mesh chair guys so the mesh chair uh, you know to get at this lower price it's very difficult to get uh, i have seen a lot i have researched a lot in uh, online you know there is no mesh chair available at this price guys to be honest even though this chair is you know like for the middle class people and for you know like people who are you know looking to buy a chair to reduce their back pain this chair might look pricey for them but you know uh, comparing to the very high costly chairs yeah there are chairs which around cost like you know, 1.25 lakh 1.5 lakh uh, comparing you know this chair uh, gives you know like not exactly you know like 100 percent performance compared to the chair but you know it does around like 70 to 80 percentage of that performance i feel so but i have never used a 1.25 lakh uh, chair so i don't i can't comment on that fully so we will see about it later on the second pro is the build quality the chair frame material is made of aluminium which can hold a maximum weight of 140 kilograms so if you are more than that i would recommend buy uh, some other chair the mesh quality is a breathable which is the replacement of foam and fabric which solves the prolonged sitting's biggest problems which build up the heat and humidity close to the body it also available in the back side as well which provides cool and comfortable and the lumbar support and other materials are made of very hard plastics the hand rest material is made of very hard cushion so when you keep your hand on the hand rest especially the knee for a long time you will start getting the knee pain the chair comes with three adjustable one you can adjust the height of the chair with that flat lever that is present at the bottom you just have to pull it up to adjust the height the second lever is used to change the slanting position of the chair so if you pull it out either you can pull it inside or you can pull it and push it outside for relaxing positions so this depends upon your use if you wanted to use it for office work you can just pull it and or if you are just doing a gaming you can just push it out and do a normal gaming the next pro is the lumbar support if you have a back issues or don't want to develop them this adjustable office chair includes adjustable lumbar support and a recline feature that allows you to tilt the backrest or sit straight the contouring design of the back itself provides support to the lower and the mid back region and helps in avoiding or reducing any kind of pain now you can quickly find a position that makes your back feel the most comfortable the next adjustment is the hand rest adjustment you can just uh, press off a button you can change the height of your hand rest as per your desired height i would recommend you use it in parallel to the table height and here yeah, forgot about the main feature of this chair this chair can be rotatable like any other normal office chair we <laughs> Okay, the next thing is about the wheels of the chair the wheels of the chair is also smooth and it doesn't make much of a noise and it also feels reliable to use so you can both rotate and move it at the same time 
Next is the headrest. The headrest angle and also its height can be adjustable based on your need. The headrest quality is also made of mesh. So it's again, it gives a really cool and comfortable feeling when it's used for a long time. Thanks to this state of art of his chairs, numerous adjustable view features you can be assured of finding comfortable seating position just for you. You can adjust the lumbar support height, the armrest height, the seat height, the seat depth, the headrest height and the angle, the backrest tilt and the tilt tension. This adjustable mesh chair is made to last. It has a good weight capacity of up to 140 kgs and is made from the highest quality materials including a nylon mesh seat and back, sturdy arm with soft nylon pad, adjustable headdress, die cast, aluminium base and heavy duty caster wheels that allows you to move easily across carpeted and hard floor. Even the base of the chair is very wide. My hip size is 36. Now as you guys can see, even after that there is some two hand of space is available. So if you are fat, you guys can also use this chair. But make sure you guys see the specification which I have given in the link in the description below. Okay, so those are the pros uh, and now we will see about the cons. Uh, one of the main cons which I found while using this chair is, okay, let me take it to you. Let me take you guys to the handrest. So this handrest guys. Uh, yeah, so this handrest, you know, the plan, the quality of this handrest is kind of like very hard. So if you are keeping your hand like this for, uh, for a very long time, I, I started getting pain. Uh, it took pain when I was using this chair. I would have been more satisfied if this so if this is not made of that much of hard plastic, hard cushion plastic but yeah so this is kind of like a, it's made of very hard cushion plastic guys. It's strong, reliable but you know when you're when, when, you're, when you're you know like lying your hand like this for a really long time you know so you will you'll start getting this uh, knee pain which i which actually i i got it because like you know last two weeks i i had to work a lot to to deliver a product uh, so you know while i was working i know since i have to you know attend meetings like this and i even i walk when i was thinking also i was thinking like this you know i usually use this hand only uh, so you know and i was you know you even when browsing also i, I used to browse with my uh, right hand mouse and and I and if you're sitting and watching like this or watching any YouTube videos also I'll be watching like this now while this process was going on I I started getting a knee pain here and now it is cured you know but if you are in uh, but since I was you know rigorously testing this chest and I was also uh, working very hard to deliver that product so during that time, I actually like you know uh, faced this issue. Other than that, uh, this back pain issue came only when I was using the chair by sitting for like you know three plus hours straight continuously. And and, and if you are sitting for like you know one hour or two hours uh, continuously, you won't feel that feel the back pain much. So that's the first con. You'll get a knee pain when you are using this chair. So that's the only con I. And the and second con is, uh, you know, this chair doesn't have this, you know, um, slanting uh, slanting mechanism. So you guys are like, you know, fixed to only this, uh, only the normal seating mechanism. So you guys can't, you know, slant the chair to, to any extent. So it is actually, you know, like restricted only to this, uh, only to this position. So you guys can't, you know, go in a, in a very slanting position like how the game chairs or uh, you know the the car seats provides so that's the uh, another con okay so those are the pros and cons guys uh, before we wrap up this video so the final verdict is you know should you buy this chair and if you have a good budget and if you want a you know like a mesh chair and if you have a back pain especially so if you have a back pain and if you are working in a, as a software engineer or a youtuber where, where you have to sit for a long time uh, continuously which uh, actually by it's not advisable by health advisors uh, so as per the health advisors you know you have to stand for 
every 20 minutes, uh, which is the which is actually good for your health. And if you unconsciously sit for more than an hour or something like that, even during gaming, so that time this chair actually doesn't removes your back pain completely, but it reduces the impact of the impact on the occurrence of the back pain. So if you used any cushion chair or the even the gaming chair where the cushion is very hard, so if you uh, if you are using those chairs. Uh, so those chairs will will give you a back pain after like you know half an hour or one hour but this chair you know since it is mesh the advantage is that you know uh, it it actually like gives a good airflow it's not giving any the stress force with your to your back so because of this your back pain will get reduced a lot and if you are tight on a budget go for this uh, wire chair which i have which i'm showing you on the screen Go for this white chair guys, so this white chair cost around like only just 2000 or 3000 And for you guys, if you guys feel like a look doesn't matter, I just want to reduce my back pain at a very low cost and I can't afford a uh, mesh chair, then there is also a, one more alternative option. So that alternative option is nothing but this wire chair. So you guys would have seen this wire chair at a lot of very local shops. So yes guys, so this wire chair also acts like this mesh chair but the main advantage, main disadvantage in wire chair is like you know, uh, first thing is it doesn't look good and the second thing is uh, you know, I, the holes if you see it will be very big but if you, but there are also options where the holes are really small so if the holes are really big, you know, so you guys will get an impression when you are like you know sitting for there at a long time. But other than that, that chair is actually like a very cheaper and a cheaper option and if you guys don't matter about the looks, you guys you know like go for that wire chair. I have also given that link in the description as well. I have given both Amazon link and also the other vendors link um, where, where you can buy this chair. All these chairs are actually like similar guys. The only thing is you know, all, you know like a different vendors or different sellers has imported the products. I have given all the best vendors based on the price range uh, in in the link in the description below you guys can you know uh, check and buy um, buy based on based on your preference uh, the vendor which i bought is through amazon uh, the link i have given in the description below so the reason why i bought through amazon is you know this uh, written policy if you buy through any other vendor i know uh, suppose if something goes wrong they might not i had a i was afraid that they might not support you but, but amazon customer care helps us to you know like resolve any issues uh, so that's the main reason why i bought through amazon so that's my personal preference you guys can also you know buy based on your your own opinion but my personal preference and suggestion is i bought through amazon so i have given those link in the description below okay so that's it about this ergonomic chair i hope you guys like this uh, review and if you guys like this review just give us a thumbs up and if you guys have any clarification let me know in the comments below and i'm glad to help you guys out and i see you guys in the next video bye bye